We're here to talk about your tush. What you're doing right now is killing you. More than cars or the internet, about little mobile device that you probably just checked, the technology that we use the most is our rear end. People sit on average 9.3 hours a day. It's more than we sleep at 7.7 .7 hours. Sitting has become so prevalent, it never occurs to us that it's not okay. Sitting has become the smoking of our generation. There are health consequences, of course. Things like breast cancer and colon cancer are directly tied to our lack of physical activity, 10% in fact. 6% for heart disease and 7% for type 2 diabetes. Now these statistics should be enough for anyone to get up off their duff, but if you're anything like me, it wasn't. What did get me moving was social interaction. I started working for a fairly small company with only one private conference room. So more often than not, when I was asked to a meeting, we went for a stroll. And I thought this was really odd in the beginning, but the more it happened, the less odd it became. And it's part of my business life that I really enjoy. It gets me out of my office, into fresh air, and away from a chair. Now before this, I used to think of life in two ways. You can take care of your health, or you can take care of your obligations, one always at the expense of the other. But after these walk and talk meetings, I've learned a few things. First, there's something about getting out of the box that drives out of the box thinking. Whether it's stimulation from nature or a boost from the exercise that gets the blood flowing, it works. And the second, and probably more reflective of the two, is about how much each of us holds problems in opposition when they really don't need to be. And if we're going to solve problems and look at the world differently, whether it be government or business or environmental issues, maybe we can think about how to reframe those problems into having hold both true health and obligation. Because it's when that happened with the walk and talk idea that things became viable and sustainable and doable. So I started this talking about your tush, and I'm going to end it with the bottom line. Walk and talk. Walk the talk. You'll be surprised at how fresh air drives fresh thinking, and in the way that you do, bring into your life an entirely new set of ideas. Thank you.